Okay, everyone. I have been putting off this one for a while now, and that's because lipstick is, again, another one of those categories where I feel like it's just kind of hard for me to let stuff go. So we're going to see what I'm going to be able to let go because I do want to pare this down a bit because I have in the like last couple years um, really tried to use up my lipsticks and lipsticks last a long time even with using it every single day I mean it takes me several 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 months to use up a lipstick so we need to cut this down a little bit and just get started I can probably tell you a lot of the lipsticks I will be getting rid of are probably going to be my less expensive ones just because I can only keep so much stuff and I'd rather get rid of like a dollar lipstick rather than like a $30 lipstick so just be fair warned on that one I will keep a few that I do quite like but I can just see the few those are gonna get next okay so this first one I have here this is from Amuse this is just a random uh, one I think I probably got from Shop Missé. This one's called Bloom Pink. I know a lot of these colors are going to be so, so similar. So really kind of what I'm going to base on what I'm keeping and how I'm not keeping. It's going to be the price, the color, and the scent of this one. This one does not have any scent to it. It is a pretty color, but I mean, I have a million other colors like that. So we're going to let this one go. Let's get some of these out of the way. Um, these are most of, with the exception of the back few here, these are my MAC lipsticks. And I think only a few of them I actually bought at full price. Most of them I either got like a TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls, something like that on um, clearance. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep most of my MAC lipsticks, but I will go through them really quick. I do have the Candy Yum Yum, which is of course like a gorgeous like neon pink color. I'm not going to let that go. The next one I have here is called Forever. This one, I have a whole bunch of these colors that are kind of crazy. I, you know, I know. You guys know I had a purple lipstick phase and I mean, color wise, would I wear this? Probably not. I could probably use it for like mixing and stuff, but I'm just, I can't let it go yet. I can't. It's it's like a really nice MAC lipstick and I love it. Okay, so this one's called Lured In. Again, this one's a little bit more of like a purpley lavender color. This one's called Lightly Charred. This one's a little bit more gray. This one reminds me, and I might have it. I don't know if I do or not, um, but there was a color from Lime Crime a long time ago, one of these maybe, um, that was called uh, Chinchilla and it's like a similar color to that, kind of like that gray, silvery, purple kind of color. The next one I have, this one is called Reverence. This is one of their powder lipsticks and this one I love the color of it this is like an everyday lipstick color for me I would totally wear that totally get use out of it this one is called lustering um I can't remember where I got this one I might have got this from boxycharm this one's a little bit more of like a glossy finish the next one oh you guys this is so funny this is actually a knockoff mac lipstick I can tell because the label on the bottom is like completely different so this one I think yeah that one I'm totally gonna let go that is not an authentic mac lipstick I don't want that in my collection so that one is going okay next we have the color dew this one is kind of like a uh, periwinkle kind of color that one I think this is might be the one you guys I have a video where I hauled all those MAC lipsticks and I named it like coral number five or whatever from the Spongebob meme and I swear to god naming it that has <laughs> boosted that video view so much more than like any of my typical other views just from like that name okay and the next one I have is called courting seduction again it's like kind of that lavendery color that one i feel like could be the most wearable out of all of those crazy like purples this one is mac snob one of my favorites again another like really good everyday kind of lipstick color i quite enjoyed that one i do have mac saint germain i think that's in my everyday makeup bag but of course i'm keeping that one as well but i don't have it with me at this moment and then the last one i have is the viva glam nikki 2 amplified lipstick this is so old but you guys i really really wanted to keep it and it's very very similar to that last color that i showed here um, this one's slightly more, just slightly more pinky, but I can't let this go. I've had this forever and I love it. It still smells good and everything, so that's good. Now, going along with that, I do have the MAC Viva Glam lip gloss, and you guys, I have to let this go. This looks nasty. Like, that looks terrible. It, like, looks all white and cloudy. It, the scent has totally changed on it. It doesn't smell bad, but it definitely doesn't smell like what it used to smell like. But I really, really, uh, need to let that one go. It's funny, it kind of smells like powdered donuts now, which is kind of weird but I, th I think we need to let that go okay and then the last couple mac lipsticks i have these are like my newer ones i think i got all of these at tj maxx or ross or marshall's this one is called vanity bonfire 
this is such a pretty like watermelon pink kind of color I love that one then we have the color let them eat cake another fun purple this one's a little bit more of like a fuchsia purple so I feel like if I wanted to do like a crazy purple lip this one I could totally kind of get away with wearing um, it's a little bit more wearable than some of these like dark purples and then the last MAC one I have this one is called joie de vivre and this one I think I got from BoxyCharm and I think it was the wrong color like they had posted a different color on their website and I bought it and I don't know but they ended up like refunding me for it but that's still a very very pretty color it's definitely more of like a berry wine kind of color but very gorgeous and yeah that's all the MAC lipsticks that are of course staying in my collection and not going anywhere. Okay, another insanely old lipstick that I cannot let go. This is my YSL Rouge Velupt. I actually bought this in Rome at the airport. I didn't have time to exchange my euros um, back to dollars. So I'm like, well, I'm going on a shopping spree. So I blew a whole bunch of money last minute in the airport um, because I did not have time to exchange my money. So this one's very like sentimental to me. This one is extremely old. This is going to be 11 years old, <laughs> but I'm always going to keep this. Um, and I like this formula, but it was very like very soft and slippy and um, it kind of like wore off really quick, but it's so comfortable and pretty. And I'm of course going to be keeping that lipstick forever. I don't care. And then the next ones I know I want to keep and then we'll kind of really get into like paring some stuff down I know I want to keep all my lime crime lipsticks I will go through these really quickly just to swatch them and then we'll get on to more declutters I especially love these because they don't have them anymore and these were like so cute back in the day um, these are just they're never leaving my collection this one's called geranium no geranium and this one is so pretty it's very similar to that color <laughs> that I just swatched it next to um, but I love this one next we have great pink planet this one's kind of like a Mac st. Germain type of color that like very very bright baby um, blue toned pink um, that one is so so much fun the next one I have is called coquette this one's more of like a nudie kind of one and a really peachy love this color as well I like mixing those two colors I feel like they give me just like such a pretty color next I have uh, countessa fluorescent this is kind of like a candy yum yum type of color so there is that one there. Next I have Delilah. This one is so so pretty. This was kind of like one of the first like lavender lipsticks like on the market. Obviously it might not have been like the first one but in my brain like that was like you could not find colors like this anywhere and that was like one of the first ones ever. I think that's what kind of started my favorite like lavender lipstick kind of uh, obsession. And then this one is called Airborne Unicorn. This one's definitely a little bit more of like a grapey purple kind of color. Next we have, this one's called Chinchilla, like I was telling you, that kind of like grayish color, kind of put it in right there. Definitely very, very similar to these like kind of gray purple silvers. Okay, next we have the color Cosmo Pop. This one's like a little peachier um, kind of one. It's a little bit more of like an orangey yellow tone. Um, definitely a very different color than what I typically wear, but every once in a while I could kind of like rock that color and like make it work. And then next we have the color Babette. I love this one. This one's like just like a perfect like mix between like a pink and a orangey kind of color. This one's like a really nude, but just a little bit extra, like a little pinky. Then the next one I have is called Eraser. This one's a little bit more of like a darker nude, I think. It's very similar to the last one, but just a little bit deeper. Finally, for the uh, Lime Crime ones, the last one, unfortunately, my friend accidentally broke this like 10 years ago, but um, it's okay. I forgive her, <laughs> but I was so, so sad at the moment when it broke. And this one is called Centra Fuchsia. Again, that really like bright candy yum yum. It's even more more intense than Countessa fluorescent but um, yeah I, I, I just absolutely cannot get rid of those they are iconic to me and they are definitely staying okay I did a quick little rearrangement of some of the things that were up here just kind of make better <laughs> use of my space so we are just gonna kind of start picking around and seeing what we're going for um, I think I'm gonna start with let's do like NYX because I have a few of those um, so the first one I have here this is their matte lipstick this one is in the color hippie chic I think I think I really liked this color. Yeah, that one's like a really fun, like kind of like, almost like if a neon pastel peach was a thing. Um, it totally kind of reminds me of that. So I do think I want to keep that one. And then I have this color. This one's called Euro Trash. This one I feel like is just a little bit darker than a color I would wear. So I think I'll let that one go. It's a very pretty color and I like the formula of this for a matte lipstick. But color wise, 
I just don't love it. Okay, next I have the butter lipsticks. These were such a big deal back in the day. This one is in the color Gum Drop. This one does have a little bit more of like a, um, kind of like a sheen to it, or it's like a little bit more like glossy. Um, I do kind of like this one for like, just like a quick, easy lip. So I think I'll keep that one. And this one is in the color Candy Buttons. This one's a little bit more of like an orangey peachy kind of color. It's kind of similar to Hippie Chic, um, but the like texture is a little bit different. Um, so I definitely wanna keep those. I like these a lot. A few I think I could probably get rid of is some of these older ones. These are so old. This is like Nick's like original like lipsticks. So the one I have here is in the color Circe. And these kind of have like an interesting smell to them. I remember them having that smell like from the very beginning, but like the texture of them is so nice. The color of this one's definitely a little bit more of like a cool toned brown. Um, I want to think on that one. Let me just set that one aside for a moment and kind of look at the rest of these because there's probably going to be a couple that I want to keep. This one is in the color Narcissus. This one's kind of like a really pretty pink kind of color. But this one does feel like a little gritty. It's a little chunky. Um, I think I'll let that one go just because even though I love the color, I don't know, the texture of it's just a little bit gritty. So I think I'll let that go. The next one I have is in the color Power. This one is, again, kind of like a little bit more of like a lavender-y kind of lipstick. And again, this one is uh, just a little bit on that gritty texture. It's not nearly as bad as that one. That one, let me put aside. We'll think about that one. This one's in the color Strawberry Milk. I feel like this is like such an iconic one. Ooh, but this one's like super gritty. I mean, it's like if I if I work it out, it kind of like comes back. But mm, I think as much as I love that color, I think I want to let that one go because I really thought I was going to keep that one. But I don't know that texture. This one's in the color Doll. This one's like a darker like mauve color. These. OK, the texture of this one's actually really, really good. But the color I don't really care for. Never was really a fan of that color. And this one's in the color Thalia or Talia. I think it's Talia. And again, this one's like a little bit more of like a mauve kind of color. Definitely too dark for me. I wouldn't care for that one. So we're going to let that go. Okay. And as far as those two, I think I'm going to keep them. We're going to keep them one more time. One more declutter. Um, I could probably see these going next time, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep like one or two of them. And I do kind of like those colors. So those will stay. And then these. Okay. So these were the NYX um, Macaron lipsticks. Um, this one is in the color Lavender. I think I just need to let this go. I also think I kind of use this for like mixing my own lipstick colors. The texture of it is still really, really good. But now I'm back to like, do I want to get rid of like lavenders? And then I have the color, this one's just called Chambord and it is a black lipstick. And then I'm thinking like, okay, when do I wear black lipstick? Never. But what if there is a time that I need black lipstick? Oh my gosh, I'm... I'm going crazy. I thought I was going to get rid of these and now I'm like, I don't know. And then this one is in call. This one's called pistachio. When am I? Okay. This one I'm truly never going to wear like never. But then I think like, okay, but sometimes I like to mix my own lipsticks and stuff. So should I keep these? Ugh, against my better judgment, I should probably get rid of these, but I think I want to hang on to them like one more time. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> we'll see how long they, they hang on. Moving on. Let's see. Here's a couple. Uh, this one is a, an old elf lipstick. This one is in the color gypsy. I think I'll totally let this one go. I never really cared for the formula of these too much and they have kind of like a waxy crayon smell. So that one is going to go. This is from Ulta beauty. This one's called nudely interrupted. This one I feel like is like relatively new. I think it came in like a little set. Ooh, I do like that color. Yeah. Okay. We're going to keep that one. It's relatively new. Okay. I have a few, uh, this one, I think I'll totally let go. This one's for makeup revolution. This one is in the color scandalous depraved. This one is like a like crazy purple kind of color. And that one kind of takes like a little building up to get that purple. I just, I don't need that many crazy purples. So that one can go. The next couple I have, these were from wet and wild and I used to like these back in the day, but they are super drying. This one is in the color dollhouse pink. Okay. Yeah. That is super so gummy. That one needs to go. I mean, I love those back in the day, but they were like tugging on the lips. Okay. This one is called Stoplight Red from again. Wow. This one has like really changed colors. Um, wow. It was almost magenta when I first swatched it and then it like turned back to its red color. Yeah. I think I'm going to let that go. I, I don't wear red too often and I feel like I already have a red I want to keep. So those will go. Next, I have some from Essence. This one I think is relatively new and I do like this color. This one's called Naughty, that perfectly kind of pinky peachy nude. So that one I'm definitely keeping. This one I think I'll let go. This one is called the Ultra Last Instant Color Number One. It's called Sand Aside. Um, I don't know why I bought this because this is like, like gray taupe lipstick. That would not look good on 
not look good on me so that one's going and then i have this one i like this one a lot this one is number 52 in the nude this one's actually like almost gone i think i definitely used this one for a long time so again this one's kind of got more of like a glossy finish and it does have like a very sweet kind of like candy scent to it so i'm going to keep that one and try to use that one up the next one i have is a korean one this one is relatively newer this one's called the ink airy stick and i think this is from i think this one's from peri oh peri para that's a, <laughs> of course um the color is is number four. Can't remember the actual name on here. I don't have time to read the Korean and fight for that. This one's like slightly more of like a orangier kind of version of that one, but I do like this one again. It's very similar to like the powder finish ones from matte. Kind of got that more like velvety matte finish, so I do like that one. This one is from Rimmel London. This one is an old, old one. I can't even tell you how long I've probably had this one. This one is number six pink blush. That one I think I'll let go. It does have like a slight shimmer sheen to it. I do like the color, but I just, I don't really feel like I need that one. And it is quite a bit older, so I'm going to let that go. And then this one is from Sephora Collection. It has no name on it, no sticker, no anything. So let me see. Oh, it's on the inside. Sephora Rouge. This one's called Miss. And I think I'm going to keep this one. Like pastel-y pink, kind of like more of on the cool tone bubblegummy kind of side. I do kind of like the color. I don't like the shape of this lipstick tube though. Okay, my camera cut out at some point. I don't know where it cut out in case it missed these. These were the three I was keeping. Fuchsia Fierce, Pink Pop, and Electric Orange from the Color Sensational Vivids line. So all of those are staying. And then there's also this one from the same line. It has like a little bit of a different um, package here. This, one's, this one is called Lilac Flush. And another like lavender kind of one, but this one's like a little bit more of a glossy one. So it's not like as bam in your face, like super opaque, which I thought that one was really cute so I do want to keep that one I just sorry I love it I love it I love it and then these are the last two that I have from the same line this one's called lavender voltage this one I remember yeah this one is super bright but again it is a little bit more glossy finish so it is kind of wearable in that sense I think for now I will hang on to that one and probably this one as well this one is in the color Hot Plum. This one's a little bit more of like a fuchsia-y kind of color. I think I'm gonna hang on to those and really kind of give those a go and just kind of narrow it down as I go. Okay, this one I definitely think I can let go. This one was another one I think I got from Shop Miss A or maybe Clean Color or somewhere. Um, this is from the brand Princessa and this is called their Matte Lipstick and this one's in the color Smoked Rose. Color-wise, I did really like this one but it is a little bit more on that like waxier side and this one I do believe I got for a dollar so I think I'd rather let this one go than some of my other high-end ones this one I definitely think I can let go I don't know why I have this this was from the brand I think it's Nika K and this one's called Aqua Verde I think this is one of those like ones that like change oh no I don't think it is um, I thought this was one of those color changing ones, but no, that's just a straight up like mint green. Yeah, we're gonna let that one go. And then this one was from a brand called BYS. I think it's an Australian brand. This one's called Electric Lavender. I think this is one I like used to like mix other stuff. This one I definitely think I'll let go. It's just the pigmentation's not even that good anymore. And this one's really, really old. It was cheap. I think I will definitely let that go. The next one is actually a custom lipstick and I was going to do a whole video dedicated to this brand or this like lipstick that I made and stuff, but I ended up not doing it. But this was a custom lipstick that I created. This is from a brand called Finding Ferdinand. You get to just like play with the colors and like create your own lipstick and you can change the scent of it and everything like that. It was a little bit pricey. I feel like if I had to guess it was somewhere between 30 to 40 dollars but i can't remember for sure but this is the color that i created you get to name it and everything so i called this one baberina's kiss because that was a that's a nickname for uh me from my boyfriend so this one actually really cool it kind of does that little pop-up thing and this i just wanted like a perfect everyday kind of color and this one i remember spending like an extra five dollars for like this lucky charm scent and i really don't smell this fragrance anymore which is kind of sad but it was a very pretty lipstick it had embossment on it and it was so so pretty but I'm definitely keeping this because um, I love the color obviously because it was a custom color that I made and I wanted something that could be like an everyday lipstick for me but I probably wouldn't buy another one of these just because it was 
kind of expensive in my opinion, but I will definitely be keeping it. The next one I have here, this one I believe I got in a BoxyCharm, and it's my only lipstick from Becca. And of course, Becca doesn't exist anymore, but this is their ultimate lipstick, and this one's in the color Crimson. Probably wouldn't have picked this on my own, but I don't really have any red lipstick, so I definitely want to keep this one because it was a more high-end one, and if I ever want a red lip, this is the color I will use. So that one will stay. Okay, so this one was, again, another one of those Wet n Wild ones. I think I'll let this one go too. This one is called Party Persimmons, kind of like a orangey red. It's kind of on that dry, waxy side. This one's actually a little bit better than those other two, but I'm already letting those go. I think I'll let that one go as well. I just, I'm not very drawn to using those lipsticks anymore. Honestly, I think now I've just kind of have other tastes that I like more. And oh, here is another MAC lipstick. So this one needs to go with my MAC collection because I, I missed this one. But this is one of their Sheen Supreme lipsticks. And this one is in the color, I can't tell because they stamped right over it, but it's called Asian something and I can't remember what it would have been called. Maybe Asian flower is again, it's kind of like a mauve -y kind of lavender pink, but this one like, I feel like is the most wearable lavender-y pinky kind of color that I have in that kind of tone. So I definitely want to keep that one. And somehow it got mixed around without my matte stuff. All of these are relatively new. I think I got a little box set of these on sale. I think I probably paid like $9 for like all of these or something. So I thought it was a really great deal. And these are from Revlon. Some of these colors though do not suit me and I think I just need to let them go and pick the colors that I actually like because some of these, they're very pretty but not my style. This one is number 463 Sassy Mauve. Okay, that's kind of a pretty color. I'm gonna hang on to that one for a minute and kind of evaluate the rest of these because I feel like that one could be one that could go either way. This next one is called number 750 Kiss Me Coral. Um, okay, I don't love that one. And I do have a couple other oranges, I think. This one's a little bit more of like a subdued orange, which is nice, but I'm kind of leaning towards letting that one go. So I'll sit over here for now. This one is called Fuchsia Fusion 657. It's kind of like a brick red rose kind of color. Mm, I don't know, kind of leaning towards letting that one go. This one is called Rum Raisin 535. I feel like this one's totally gonna be too dark for me. Yeah, um, that one will let go. This one is called Black Cherry 477. Okay, that one kind of might be an interesting, like super dark one to wear, like a fall one. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Then I have the color 044 Bear Affair. I feel like, I feel like this one might be a good one. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's that's a little bit more my alley. So that one I will keep. This one is number 450, Gentlemen Prefer Pink. Let's see, ooh, that one's kind of pretty. This one kind of looks like a, just like a classic kind of pink. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but I think I'll keep that one. And let's see, this one is called Love That Red 725. I'm gonna kind of swatch this one kind of near this one here. I kind of might want to keep that one too because this one's a little bit more of a cool tone red, whereas this one's a little bit more like neutral. So I kind of like having two different color options for a red because I haven't decided which tone of red really like suits me better. So we're gonna keep that one for now. And then the last one is called 525 Wine With Everything. This one might be one I can let go. Yeah, I mean, I don't really feel too strongly about that one. So we are going to keep five of them and get rid of four of them. So I'm okay with that. I feel like that will, that will do. Down to the last few here. Let's see, let's just start over here. These are some clean color lipsticks. These are the Madly Matte and some of these I'm probably gonna get rid of. This one's in the color Orchid. I think these are also like little $1 ones that I got. I do like the texture of this one. I don't know if I love this color. I might put this in the maybe declutter. This one is in the color Rosemary again. It's kind of that lavender gray color. It's kind of fun. I don't know why I can't let these go. I'm kind of wanting to keep that one. I know, I, I know. This one's in the color Brick Rose. I think I'll probably let that one go. That one can go, that one's barely been used. This one's in the color Wild Orchid. This one's kind of like a crazy purple color. Okay, that one's kind of fun. This one has so much red in it. It's not like like a gray toned purple or a blue toned purple. I think that that one could be a really fun, like just bright kind of berry kind of color. This one is called Heather. This one's a little bit more of a lighter one. Oh, that one's kind of like Saint Germain, but like a little bit more lilac to it. So I kind of like that one. This one is called Dragon Fruit. This one's a lot more of like a punchy, Kind of pink. I think I'll let that one go. And then this one is called Piggy Bank. This one's, oh wow, that one is, that one is pink. 
Um, that one's definitely like a milky chalky pink. <sighs> I'm gonna put that one on profession and keep it um, and see what I think about it like after I've kind of like narrowed everything down and like actually be able to give some of the stuff more of a, a good use. So we're gonna keep four of those and we're gonna get rid of three of them. Okay, next few that I have here. This one is another one I think I probably got from Shop Miss A. This is from, it says Rich On Cosmetics, but it says BR on here, so I'm not sure. This one's just called Pure Matte. And this one is called Pure Nude. This one is not really showing up very well. Wow, I gotta like put some really eff a lot of effort behind that. The amount of effort it just took me to like put that on my hand means that I think I need to let it go. It's just way too waxy and had to be way too fussy with that. Okay, this is like a little random one. Again, I think I got it from Shop Miss A. This one is from Alluring Lips Tint. This one's Sean Levy. I don't know. I think, oh yeah. This one was definitely one I used to mix other lipsticks. That one's like almost gone, so that is gonna go. This one is from Balala, and it's called Setting the Color Lipstick. This one is in number 11, Color Juice Fruit. And let's see, oh, another, another lavender. Another lavender. Oh, I wish I could let lavenders go. I don't know why these are so hard for me. Okay, that one we're just gonna let go. I know I have other lavenders, um, so I, I just need to let those go. Okay, these I think I'll let go as well. These are also from Nika K. This one's called the Pink Tint. Again, another one I think I used to, uh, oops, like mix other lipsticks. So that one I think I'll let go just because they're not in very good condition. And this one's called Lavender Tint, again. I mixed a color. I actually kind of like the texture of these, but they're so chopped up and hacked up. I think I just need to get rid of those. Okay, next. Oh, I have another one of these Wet n Wilds. Oh, and here's one too. Okay, we'll do those two next. So this one is in the color Cherry Bomb. Let's see. Oh yeah, so, oh my God, so dry, so dry. I remember they were dry when I got them, but they're like even more dry now, so that can go. And then this one, I loved this one. This one was called, it was 901B, but I remember it had a name. But yeah, I loved, color-wise I loved it, but again, this one's so dry. There's just so many other things that are more comfortable on my lips. Okay, I feel like we're really kind of like hitting stride now. We're like really getting rid of some stuff. Okay, this is from Princessa. It's called the Matte Kiss, and this one is in the color Sweets. And another one that I, I hacked to pieces, so that one can go. Next, this is from JCat Beauty. This is called the Paltolic Lipstick. This one is in the color Throwback Thursday. I will let this one go. I'm, I gotta like, I just gotta put my foot down. I have so many purple lipsticks, I don't know why, but I gotta put my foot down. This one, we will let go. This is from Clean Color Femme Lipstick. I had a whole bunch of these and I decluttered them a while ago, like years ago. This was the only one I kept. This one's called French Garden number 17. This just, it's way too pale for even me. Like you can barely see on my skin. It looks terrible on my lips. So that one is gonna go. And then let's see, what's this one? This one is actually like interesting because it was like a random like cheap lipstick that I got, but it has like kind of decent packaging. This was from a brand called Mizu, Mixu, I don't know. This one is number three. It's the Charm Limited Supermodel Lipstick. It doesn't have a color name, but it's kind of cool how it opens. Kind of reminds me of like a Dior knockoff. So that's what the lipstick looks like. This one's like a bright purple. Oh, but I love the texture of this. I kind of want to keep eating the colors crazy. The texture of this reminds me of the YSL lipsticks. And I'm pretty sure this is like just some random ass lipstick that I had, but I kind of want to keep it. It has a super glossy, like ultra shiny kind of like finish to it. So I think I definitely want to keep that one. <laughs> okay, this one I think is Victoria's Secret. This one is in the color Heart Beat. I'm pretty sure I got this like on sale from like years and years ago from one of their sales. This one I'll let go. I already have a couple other peachy lipsticks and I don't know, I feel like someone else might like that one a little bit more so that one can go. This one, I think I'm gonna keep. It's gonna be hard for me to let this one go. This was from Dose of Colors. Um, this was like a long time ago. Uh, Marlena Stell like loved this color and recommended it and I went out and bought it. And this one's in the color Love Potion. This one's so pretty. Again, it's kind of like that lavendery pink but definitely way more on the pink side. So that one is like totally much more wearable if I want like a purple fix. So that one I definitely want to keep. This one is from Smashbox. This was a BoxyCharm one that I got. This was like their triple tone one and it came in very ombre. I did not care for this like concept. I mean, I like the idea. And again, this was one I hacked up for some uh, lip mixing. So that one can go. But anyway, that was like one of those like ombre ones where it had like the three tones in it and you like put it on your lips and it's supposed to like give you an ombre lip. 
I just didn't care for it. wasn't wasn't really my vibe. Okay, let's finish off these three here to finish off this little container here. These are from BH Cosmetics. These were their, I think it was like their pop art collection. This one's in the color Boom. This one I kind of like. It's like, again, those like pastel-y pinks that I really like. So that one I kind of want to keep. This one is in the color Zoink. This one is like a like peachy nude. This one I'm kind of on the fence. I kind of want to keep it though because I couldn't wear this on its own, but like if I wanted to like tone this one down, I feel like I could totally like mix those two. And then this one I think, again, surprise, is like a purple. This one's called Wham. Okay, I like that one. It's not, it's not like a crazy purple. Like it's kind of in between. So I think I'll keep those. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep those. Okay, we got a whole nother container down. So we are down to the last few. This one is from Hard Candy. This is one I got a long, long time ago. And this was another lavender lipstick. This one's called Chalk and Pink. And this one, yeah. We're gonna let that one go. I mean, how many lavenders can I really have? I bet you didn't think you were gonna see so many lavender lipsticks. This one is from Amuse Cosmetics and this, there used to be a Revlon lipstick in the same like quilted packaging. I can't remember what, what line it was. This one is in the color Petals. Let me see. Ooh, wow. I was not expecting that color. Wow, that is so different. Okay, color-wise, I like it. On my lips, I feel like that would look ridiculous, but I kind of like feel like it would be a good mixing lip gloss, or not lip gloss, lipstick. So surprisingly, I'm gonna keep that one. I thought I was gonna get rid of that. This is another one from BYS. I think that, like I said, Australian brand. This is called Sassy Salmon. This one I feel like I could let go. Yeah, I don't, I don't love the texture of it. I like the color, but that one can go. This was a e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick. This one's in the color Party in the Buff. This one's a little peachy. Yeah, that one's, I don't know. I can let that one go. That one's a little bit more on the orangey peachy side. I like a little more peachy to pink. And then this one is in the color Naughty Nymph, uh, or no, Natural Nymph. Ooh, that one must have been another one that I hacked up. I feel like I can let that one go. I don't need that one. This is one I got from Big Lots on sale for $2.50. Obviously, I, I like a good bargain. This is a CoverGirl lipstick. This one's in the color Delicious. Okay, so I do kind of like that mauve color. Still smells good, I think. I think I'll keep that one. And then another one, I probably got this at the same time. Yep, 250. This one's in the color cream. Let's see that one. Um, do it up here. I think I'll let that go. Yeah, we'll let that one go. That one's just a little bit too pale and peach um, cream color. And then we have another one of these Princessa ones. This one's in the color delicate. Color-wise, I like that but I think I'll let that go. We're getting rid of the other one. Might as well get rid of that one. Okay, next we have, this is another e.l.f. one. This is the color Plum, no, Pink Mix. Let's see that one. I'm running out of space. Mm, I kind of feel like I want to cut down a little bit, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna let that go. That one's barely used. These, I think we're definitely gonna let go because I think there were some more like lipsticks that I just like hacked up and mixed with other things. This one's called Pink Before You Speak by BYS. Baby pink kind of color. We'll just let that go. This one's another pink one. This is from Sante, and I don't see a color name on here, but it's just like a bright pink. But yeah, that one can go. And this one's called Lavenderism. I think this one was one I hacked up. Yep, so that one can go. And now we're down to just the last few. These are all of my KVD little mini lipsticks. I do wanna keep all these just because I think they are so cute. Okay, so the first one I have here, this one is called Home Girl. This one's like dark. These are so cute though, like they're so teeny tiny. So that is Home Girl. It's definitely like a really dark kind of like lummy wine color. Bauhaus, this one, whoa, okay. That one looks weird. There's like this weird like reflection on it that looked so weird. Okay, that's Bauhaus. Then we have this one, which is called Lovecraft. This one's kind of pretty too. And I feel like I definitely want to keep these because these are like mini lipsticks. Like I feel like I could easily go through these and use them up. You know, granted that I really like the color. Like this one, I totally could see myself completely using up. This one is in the color Cathedral. I said that weird, Cathedral. <laughs> cathedral. Um, let's see this one. That one's a little bit more of like a, kind of like a 90s grunge kind of brown. Magic. This one is really pretty. Another one I feel like I, I would totally, like I could use up an entire little one of that, so. Okay, this one's so dark, and this one's called Poe. That is my black cat's name, and I just, I don't think I would ever really use this lipstick, but I kinda can't get rid of it, and it's like this dark, like navy royal blue with like glitter in it, so. It's kind of like a little wild card, but I don't wanna like get rid of it because number one, it's my cat's name, and number two, I know, I feel weird getting rid of just like one of these. This one is called Coven. This one's a lavender lipstick, of course. I, 
Of course, I had to have a little lavender lipstick. And then this one is the last one I have called Slayer. This one's just like a black, like a straight up black. Ooh, this one's like not very good. See, here's what I was saying. I need like a black lipstick. I can't remember. Is this one supposed to be like a solid black lipstick or is this supposed to be like a gray, like wash up color? I don't know. That one I probably should get rid of, but I'm gonna keep it for now. And then I have these other two mini ones. This one is a Marc Jacobs per perfume. <laughs> Marc Jacobs lipstick. This one's in the color Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I don't think I've used this. I'm pretty sure this was like a Sephora birthday gift. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I like that color. I would totally use this up because it's a little teeny tiny baby. And then this one is from Bare Minerals. This one's in the color Honesty. Another one, I'm pretty sure I would, oh yeah. Oh, those colors are like exactly the same, but I want to keep those and uh, yeah, I would totally use those up. Okay, and then finally, these last few I have here, let's see, let's start with these two. So these are the Sephora Pantone lipsticks. These are kind of crazy, but I don't think I'll be able to get rid of these just because they're kind of more sentimental than like practical for me. This was the year that I graduated college, 2016. The Pantone Universe Colors was the first year they did two colors. And it was Serenity, I think, is like this periwinkle color. And then Rose Quartz was the pink. I just, I love these two colors. It was a year I graduated college. And these are just kind of like sentimental for that reason. So this one is Rose Quartz. This one's really pretty, but it's like so pastel pink. It would not look good on anyone. But like I said, it's it's kind of like more nostalgia. And then this one is of course Serenity, which is the periwinkle blue color. Interesting that they chose to do lipsticks for it, but honestly, I, uh, I can't let these go. And also I was a graphic design major. So like Pantone has like significance to graphic design stuff. So um, definitely keeping those. The only thing that's really annoying is that these do not fit in these little containers here. So that's why those are always like somewhere else, but I'll, I will figure out something for those. <sighs> And then another Sephora Pantone one. I wish these were all like the same size and stuff. That'd be like so nice, but they, they didn't do that. This was the year that they did Radiant Orchid, which I think was probably like 2014. It's actually a really pretty color. Again, I really, really like that one. Still smells fine. Still looks good. No fuzzies on it. So I wanna keep that one as well. And then these last few here, I have been talking so much about like mixing my own lipsticks. So these are some little like lipstick cases that I got off of Amazon. And I ended up like mixing up some of my own colors just for fun, you know, like you take existing lipsticks, melt them down and use like a lipstick mold. So I had a lot of fun doing stuff like that. So let me just see what these colors I ended up with. And uh, the mold was kind of cool. It kind of looks like a little rose, but you know, obviously the more you use it, it doesn't show up. So as far as my uh, custom lipstick colors that I made, not surprising, there is a lavender kind of color here. Very, very cute. I like how I turn it over like I'm looking for a label. <laughs> this one is more of like a mauve kind of pink. I actually really enjoy that one. And then this one, what color is this one? Ooh, this one's like a little bit more of a standard pink. I don't know. I kind of like these colors a lot. And last one, let's see what this last one is because ooh, a bright purple. That one's actually kind of similar to that one, but yeah, so those are those are my custom lipsticks that I made, and honestly, it's a lot of fun to do, so I, I would recommend it to anyone who uh, likes to just, like, kind of create your own thing. Okay, so I am getting rid of two, almost two, I'm one shy of two complete container full, so let's see, how many does this have? 47 lipsticks is what I'm getting rid of. You guys, I am shook that I was able to get rid of that many. I'm very, very happy, and I am keeping 80 lipsticks. Yeah, still a lot. I'm sorry. I know I'm keeping three full containers plus a few extra, but to be honest, like I feel like I did a good job for now. I feel like this is the most lipstick I've ever decluttered at one time. So I'm very happy with myself for that point. And again, when I have a smaller collection, I can really use what I actually have and I can figure out what I like and what I don't like so I can continue paring it down. So those are what are being decluttered. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and my link is below. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.